hey my loves welcome back to my channel if you are new hey friend my name is kyra oni thank you so much for joining us today go ahead and click that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and click that bell icon as well so that you're notified on each and every single one of my uploads so in today's video you guys we're going to be doing our nails you saw from the previous clip my hands look jacked up but it's okay because we're gonna get it together sis all right so first thing i'm doing is i'm removing all of my polish and stuff that i had on my nails these are my natural nails and unfortunately they don't look like this today because they want to be acting up so they're shorter now but you know it's okay i have this video as proof that they were long but anyways i'm prepping my nails um with my dehydrant and now i'm going to be doing my bootleg i think it's like the a press dupe system type thing i have a video um a more in-depth if you want to know how i'm attaching these to my nails um and i'll link that in the cards but this video is going to be focusing on specifically the design so after i attached all of my nails and everything i got from here will be listed down in the description box below everything's from amazon child so if you watch my videos you already but you listen if you already watch my if you watch my videos you already knew that anyways let me stop stumbling over my words and tell you guys what's going on so now i put on my base gel my base coat and now we're going to be going in with our color now this color um that i'm putting on it's like a nude pinkish mauvey color it's really nice and i think if you're looking for that classy look you want something that goes really nice with like brown skin this is definitely one for you it came in a whole pack so that's not the only color you get in this set and we're going to use the second color which is the white this also came in the same set so what we're going to do we're going to be doing this like faux ombre technique now this is my first time doing it and i was kind of just going with the flow and trying to figure it out child so i will let you guys know what worked for me so you guys can do it better but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go back and forth between the white and our base color so you guys see i put the white from on the top of my nail and i use this brush it's like this brush that i got from the beauty supply it really doesn't have to be super special um and i start to feather and kind of try to diffuse the color down my nail and so once i get it like maybe what three fourths of the nail i go in with my base color again and i go slightly on top of where i ended putting my white or fading my white out because this is going to make it look like it is ombre this is going to make it blend and that's what we want to do blend um i would do this technique again i think i would probably try to um use a different brush because I don't know it just wasn't necessarily diffusing the way that I wanted it to but you can most certainly make it work so you're literally just gonna go back and forth back and forth between your white and your base color just blending it and you really want to focus on where they overlap so that you can make sure that they blend properly and that you know it's nice and smooth and when you put your top coat over it it will help to smooth out like the texture on your nail but it won't help to smooth out the color right so you want to make sure that you are doing this something that i did for a different nail for uh, a different style that i'm going to get into later is i mixed up my uh top coat with my base color and that kind of made it more of a jelly color um and just more uh, sheared out so that i was able to blend it a lot easier so if you're not used to blending and doing all the other stuff then that's something i would definitely recommend but i'm going back and forth back and forth like i said until i'm satisfied and then i go ahead and use my opi top coat just to finish everything off so this is a more sped up version of what I did on my pinky and I'm going to repeat this process on my pointer finger and my thumb. And so we're going to have this ombre, um, this ombre look, I guess. I think it's an ombre French tip. I believe that's what it's called. So, yep, I'm just going to do that. Repeat the same process for the other two nails. And then I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do for the rest of our nails.
right so now we can move on to the good stuff we are going to be doing a full marble nail which this one out of all the designs i did i feel like this one came out the best okay let me tell y'all what i'm doing so i got some white polish the same white polish that i've been using this whole time and i used a striper brush to just go over and um make some abstract lines it really doesn't have to be perfect actually the most imperfect the more imperfect it is the better so you guys see i'm going in with my striper tool and i'm just drawing haphazardly um and then we're going to go in with another brush that's uh short and we're going to dip it in some acetone and we're literally just going to feather it and it's going to diffuse the nail polish so that it looks like it's marble and so you guys saw i did two layers of this and in in between each layer I am putting on my base coat color trying to make sure that I don't put it I put it on as sheer as possible we don't want it to be opaque because what this does is it allows the marble it makes it look like there's multiple layers we want it looks like uh, it creates a dimensionality with it if it makes sense if that makes sense so yep we go ahead and do that and this is what i was talking about earlier when i mixed up one my base color and then a little bit of my top coat to go over it because i really didn't want it to be um i didn't want it to fade it out too much for your first layer that's fine because you know you want it to kind of fade out you want it to look like there's different dimensions with it but for the top i didn't really want that i wanted to be as opaque as possible so i mixed it and i did a top coat again and i think it came out pretty good this is like every set no that's a lie not every set i was gonna say every set i do i say this is my favorite um but i do have this is in the top every time i do something different with my nails i'm like ooh, this is like my new favorite thing so you know anyway uh so doing my nails would not be they won't be finished um unless I put some crystals on them. So that's what we're doing right now. So I'm using my picker and I also have this, um, this resin gel by Mia Secrets and I'm putting on crystals onto my nails, just stylizing them and trying to make them look cute. I like using, um, I like using the different, shapes of crystals excuse me i like using different shapes of crystals and i like to decorate my nails each differently if you couldn't tell <laughs> so i just i don't know i think it's so simple i feel like the set is so simple but it's also a, it has a, it's a little complex because it has so many different types of rhinestone style so even if you want to just do your one base color on all of your nails and don't do any you know ombre french tip or any marbling you can make your nails look so different with your crystals so i also like so with my thumb i'm doing the cuticle crystals all around the cuticle and that's another one of my favorite ways to decorate with crystals that and also going across the middle of the nail because it kind of looks like it's a ring on the nail if that makes sense but I'm finishing up my crystals and decorating each nail and then that will be the finished product you guys I love these nails they so cute I miss them anyway so this is what they look like you guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one peace